several days. Uh, we'll start to get into some changes by late next week. Of course, we've been talking about Fiona, but really our focus is on Invest 98, which remains an unorganized system, which also remains very frustrating when you're trying to forecast something that is not there yet. Here's what's going on right now. There is still dry air to the north and west across much of the Caribbean. We also have, as you can kind of watch the motion, wind shear, which looks like it is causing some issues for this system to even organize. Plus, it's still fairly close to land, Trinidad, Tobago, and then this is northern Venezuela. So the system itself, very low latitude, near land, wind shear, dry air. At the moment, everything going against it. The models, though, are saying, well, that is true for now, but it will begin to organize once it gets into the Caribbean. Big question is just how organized does it get once it's in the Caribbean? And looks like probably by the end of the week and starting into the weekend, continuing to move westward, south of Jamaica, probably later on the day, Saturday. Sunday, early next week, it begins to be drawn northward by the upper trough, which is bringing our cold front on through. Then if it enters the Gulf, where exactly does that occur? More the Yucatan Channel or Western Cuba would be better for us. Few models indicating maybe more the Yucatan before turning northward. Here's why we're looking more to the east or western Cuba for a better scenario for us. This is the GFS thinking in the upper atmosphere. What would actually steer the storm? The GFS has a strong upper high to the west. There goes what could become Hermine moving from the Yucatan, getting more into the central Gulf of Mexico by the end of next week. So we're looking at now more than seven days out. The upper high starts to weaken a bit, and then the storm kind of just drifts slowly toward Florida, kind of at a painstaking pace. That's not what we want because that would keep the storm off of our coast and we would have more of an easterly wind that would cause some coastal flooding. The Euro is what we're hoping for. Note the Euro, different scenario, deep upper trough. That would start pulling the storm northward sooner. And then note by Thursday into the Friday when the storm was just sitting in the central Gulf, the Euro has it already moving across Florida and gone. So the Euro has a more progressive upper pattern, which would draw the storm northward faster, keeping it well away from us. The Euro not quite as strong with the upper steering, which might leave it into the Gulf of Mexico a bit longer. So a big question, which we're not going to know until early next week, is where the storm actually makes it into the Gulf of Mexico. That remains one of the big unknowns with this system. There are many unknowns and still more unknowns than knowns at this point. So in the near future, it's more of a wait and see what develops. What we know right now is that there is no storm. Tomorrow